This is what I'm reviewing today. This is Ganymed from Marc Antoine Barra. So this is a pretty well-known fragrance by this point. Came out in 2019, unisex for the most part. Not too many notes, but the notes it does have are very interesting. Uh, I'll put on a little bit. So, so right away, this is a mineral forward sort of fragrance. Uh, according to its list, it has mineral notes. And mineral notes, at least when I think of them, like metallic, sort of crisp, cold, um, kind of industrial notes almost, but also mixed with more natural minerals like rocks and stones and sand and that sort of thing. So definitely kind of a cold, very crisp, hard sort of note, followed by a very warm, more natural note, suede, uh, which of course, as a type of leather, is kind of smooth and warm. Then it also has a little bit of saffron, which gives it a nice spicy warmth, kind of an exotic nature. It has a wood that I've never heard of before, uh, called Akigala wood. I suppose that's how you pronounce it. I imagine that has some sort of very unique scent to it because, I mean, definitely this fragrance smells very unique, you know. I have not... Nothing so far is is similar to anything that I've tried in the past. Then there's Violet Leaf, Italian Mandarin, Immortel, and Chinese Osmanthus. So, like I said before, this fragrance is full of very unusual notes, which I quite like because it really makes it stand out. You know, this is something you would notice on someone because it is so unusual with all these uh, very special notes. So when I smell this, the, the first things that pop out to me, first the mineral notes, like I said, it's kind of this like metallic, rocky, cold sort of thing. Um, but immediately following that, you get the suede. The suede is a very, very strong, uh, kind of musky, rugged, warm note, which I really like. I really like suede and, and leather sort of notes. Then, this weird wood, the Akigala wood, I imagine, I mean, there is a certain muskiness to this fragrance, and I imagine that's coming from that wood note, because it is a very different type of wood note. It's a little bit like oud. If you smelled oud, you know it has a certain woody muskiness, a very heavy sort of nature. This is a little bit similar, not quite as rich as, uh, or heavy as oud, but this is kind of like a toned back version. Still relatively heavy. I quite like it. It's very, uh, like I said, kind of warm and, and smooth. Um, and there's a l just a touch of greenness, probably from the violet leaf. Um, I don't really get the Italian Mandarin too much. There's not really a big citrusy note in here. Um, but definitely, overall, you're going to get the mineral notes, the suede, and then the wood notes. So, so in general, this is a pretty... Th this is definitely on the heavier side uh, for fragrances, which... Again, I like, if you watch my videos, you know I usually like kind of these heavier fragrances uh, with warm notes. I really like that um, it has a certain presence to it, because like I said, it's a very unique sort of scent, so as soon as you put it on, you know, people will notice this. People will be kind of curious about what sort of fragrance you're wearing, uh, which of course is, you know, if you want to get attention with your fragrance, this is a pretty good one to do, to, to use. Um, I would say the longevity, based on how heavy these notes are, it's not like super in your face, but it's definitely very prominent, very present. Um, this, I would imagine, this would last probably seven hours. You know, definitely on the longer um, longevity side of things. And the projection, or like the sillage, I would also, I would say it's still moderate it's not super super powered or anything but it is definitely more than average so yeah i would say this has a pretty good um uh, projection P 
people will definitely notice you wearing it. Um, and again, because it does stand out from, you know, other popular fragrances. Because this, even though this is a pretty well-known fragrance, it still stands out. You know, because I think a lot of people probably gravitate towards other types of fragrances before they go with this one. Um, smelling this, it's... It's a really unique mix of, like, ruggedness from the leather, but also something very crisp and cold from the mineral notes, which is very uh, a very unique thing to do. Um, and I think that makes it a very, very nice fragrance. But in general, I think this is a really good option, um, especially if you like fragrances that are a bit on the heavier side. Um, this will definitely perform really well. Uh, and it's just really, you know, the, the, the notes themselves are nice. The mineral notes, the suede, the saffron, you know, all of those are just delicious. So, um, overall, really good fragrance. Um, if you have any opinions about this uh, fragrance, you can always leave those down in the comment section down below. If you liked the video, leave a like, maybe subscribe, and I make videos throughout the week, so stick around for those.